water. <laughs> Oh, oh, really? Okay. <laughs> on set, it was just water, honestly. Oh, there was anything. Set, yes. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, character wise, would you keep me drinking? Oh, um. I want to tell you something. A long time ago, a man showed me how to predict the future. Our foundation to save humanity was born. Hey, how's it going? Hey, Jim. Hey, Colander. You know, I, I'm just gonna jump straight into this uh, with Polly here. Um, what is what are, what are we drinking here constantly? Like, what's the drink of choice? <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's always got me curious. There, uh, water. <laughs> oh, oh, really? Okay. On set, it was just water. Honestly, oh, on set, yes. Was... <laughs> what do you think character wise would he be drinking <laughs> oh um futuristically something that you know <laughs> takes you into another dimension <laughs> that's what he's drinking <laughs> whether it's in liquid form or whether it comes in in powder form who knows but he's drinking it <laughs> certainly is you know i'm like I i'm thinking too uh he's lucky he's on another planet because father malik uh, that you played before would not be putting up with this behavior okay <laughs> no i mean that's again that's what you like about when you play characters like this you know yeah. it makes them real and they make them they have their flaws you know that we're, we're all in the same boat that we're not any indifferent that we we do have our kind of uh, little vices that we have but he is non-judgmental about it he's not there to pick fingers at anyone to say you shouldn't be he doesn't he doesn't have that guilt in him you know in taking these kind of uh, um, uh, uh, these substances, I would say. <laughs> that's right. You know, uh, I feel like of all the characters, that's the one like I think most would want to hang out with. I I'd imagine Got you it. too would probably, if you got to meet him in real life, if there's some sort of crossover, he'd be a fun hang. I feel like. I think so. I I, I definitely hanged out with him for a good nine months, and I really <laughs> uh, he is. He's, he, 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 because he's full of magic as well, see, he's constantly creating magic, you know, but he uh, very much based his roots in reality for what it is as, as well. Yeah. He doesn't hide. He, 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 the confidence is immense as well, because, you know, he, he's not, True. He, he doesn't get, he doesn't, he doesn't really care what anyone thinks or what he is, or what he, you know, he does what he feels, but his heart is in the right place as well because he's there for the people. He wants peace mm -hmm. and he wants revolution. And that's what this crisis is because he wants the change. He, he cares uh, uh, for humanity and where humanity is going. Definitely a, a, a redeeming character with real flaws that are relatable, yeah. I feel like. So, you know, that's a good mix. That's a juicy mix for a character right there. I think so. You know, that's what uh, interested you and wanting to do it and felt responsible for him mm -hmm. in that way because you wanted to produce that work like that because I think then it becomes, as an audience, they they can relate to that. And yeah. That you want to bring that out because the, and, and, and I, it becomes genuine in one respect. It's not really being, he's not trying to, he's not trying to be anything that is not. Exactly, which is, uh, you know, a, a very relatable quality there in, in general. Uh, I, I've been asking everyone this sort of question. Uh, what is the thing that you look forward to the most coming to work? Is it kind of the costume, the set, seeing the people there, knowing what you're going to do that day or what drink you're going to have? Like, what is the, the thing that you look forward to uh, coming come to work every day? The first thing that comes to mind. Oh, well, uh, uh, well, breakfast wasn't great, so, <laughs> but it, <laughs> I, no, it, it was uh, two hours in the, two hours in the makeup was interesting because mm. that's when you start molding into being Polly, slowly, slowly you're closing up to being that individual, but the scenes, I'll be honest, as an mm. actor's point of view, the way the scenes were written and what was being produced on, on the page especially for this work, was to how to kind of um, alleviate it from there and what you're gonna and what you're gonna produce at that moment with these characters. So there was a real joy 
that you had these moments to create. So every day you would look forward to that and say, right, bloody hell, that's the big scene coming in today when he actually goes and tries to sell foundation to Emperor. Right, let's do this. And how's he going to do it? And he's, it's different from the, the time when he deals with the scene uh, about faith and his own judgments, who he is, mm -hmm. and where he's heading as trying to protect Constant as well and being a fatherly figure to her. So... Uh, I really, really enjoyed the the whole as the whole journey, and focusing that journey for for Polly because I had to I, w I felt responsible that we got we got it right in uh, uh, very much look every day honestly it was really looking forward to being on set. Perfectly said. Couldn't 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 wrap it any better there, Colander. Uh, thanks for playing along and uh, for all the awesome answers. Pleasure, sir. Take care.